I'm, I'm here because they're not going to demean the character of Greg or George Floyd. That's right. Mm -hmm. that's right. My twin. Mm -hmm. A lot of times when police do things that they know that's wrong, the first thing they try to do is cover it up mm -hmm. and bring up your background mm -hmm. to make it seem like the bullshit that they did that they did was worthy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're definitely not going to do that. If you've seen the news or been following social media, then you should know about the mass protests, in some cases destruction, and chaos that has been happening across the U.S. due to the death of Mr. George Floyd at the hands, or rather the knee of, Minneapolis police officers, one of which was white and the other people of color. The protests and sometimes chaos has been happening all across the world as people unite together to say that black lives do in fact matter. It's crazy that we're still talking about this subject right now because the Black Lives Matter hashtag has been around for years and why wouldn't Black Lives Matter? What we're seeing now with the protests is due to George Floyd as well as a string of murders and harassment that black individuals have been facing in the US by police officers and other people who subscribe to white supremacy. If we're really being honest here, black people have been dealing with racism, oppression, and harassment since the US began when blacks were brought over as slaves. But I digress. So when George Floyd was first murdered, of course you had the outrage, but soon after people started talking about him using drugs and his past history with his health conditions, and I thought to myself, oh no, we're not going here again. George Floyd was killed due to suffocation because white police officer Derek Chauvin had his knee on George Floyd's neck for almost nine minutes while he was saying, I can't breathe. The fact that people started pointing out George Floyd's past or his present Present medical condition follows a pattern that I've seen far too often. This pattern is when a black person dies at the hands of a police officer or someone who subscribes to white supremacy, people tend to blame the black person for their own death. They bring up their past history, they bring up past criminal charges, were they a good father, were they a good mother, did they use drugs? Stay off the damn weed! We saw this recently with Ahmaud Arbery, a black individual who was jogging in a neighborhood in Georgia who was killed by two white supremacists. And yes, I say white supremacists, Gregory and Travis were white supremacists, as indicated by this video. Then agent Richard Dial shocked the courtroom Recounting what alleged co-conspirator William Bryan says Travis McMichael said next. Mr. Bryan said that after the shooting took place, before police arrival, while Mr. Aubrey was on the ground, that he heard Travis Michael make the statement. So immediately following Ahmaud Arbery's death, which we saw on video, well, I didn't watch, but other people watched it, people started saying that Ahmaud Arbery was linked to a string of robberies in the area where he was killed, but it was later found out that this could not be proven. Still, there was a video that was circulating around showing Ahmaud Arbery looking at a house under construction the day he died. So here's my thing. Even if Ahmaud Arbery were a thief, that still doesn't mean he deserved to die. That's very extreme. And people started also circulating other videos of Ahmaud Arbery from 2017 in which he had two other encounters with police officers, one in which Ahmaud was arrested for trying to steal a television. But still, this doesn't mean he deserved to die. In fact, the fact that these videos were circulating around, it's like someone was trying to say Ahmaud deserved to die because he had a criminal past. They were trying to demonize him or something. We see this pattern happening over and over again. Botham John was killed back in 2018 by a white police officer who mistakenly entered his apartment in Dallas, Texas. Botham John was black, but still, even though he was wrongfully killed, the police searched his apartment and reportedly they found 10.4 grams of marijuana. Now I'm saying even if he had the marijuana, Still, it doesn't mean he should have been killed. We also have Eric Garner, who was killed when he was selling loose, untaxed cigarettes. I mean, really, selling something illegally shouldn't result in somebody's death. The NYPD really did a botched job here. Eric Garner was killed via chokehold, in which he was saying, I can't breathe to police officers, eerily resembling that of George Floyd's death. Still, after Eric Garner died, people tried to blame it on his underlying health conditions, such as having obesity. And my last example in a string of examples I could mention is the death of Breonna Taylor. Now, Breonna Taylor and her boyfriend, Kenneth Walker, were asleep in their apartment, and three police officers, Brett Hankinson, Miles Cosgrove, and Jonathan Mattingly, all white individuals, 
entered their apartment without them knowing. Now I gotta mention, these police officers were reportedly doing a drug bust and they were in plain clothes, meaning that no one would know if they were law enforcement. Kenneth woke from his sleep and thought that he and Brianna were being robbed, so he grabbed his registered gun and shot at them. In return, they fired so many bullets that it ended up killing Brianna in the process. This was definitely wrong and to top it all off, Kenneth gets arrested and jailed. That's terrible. Did I mention the police officers were in the wrong house doing this drug bust? And afterwards, the media actually revealed that both Brianna and Kenneth didn't have any prior criminal history. But even if they did, they did not deserve to die. Obviously, being black is seen as criminal. That's why when the coronavirus first hit the US, many black individuals didn't want to wear masks because they thought they'd be targeted. And it's crazy because a lot of black individuals ended up dying from coronavirus because they didn't have equal access to healthcare due to systemic racism and oppression. And now you have black people protesting due to systemic racism and oppression because they don't want to die at the hands of police officers and other people who subscribe to white supremacy. Do you know how bad racism has to be if people are protesting in the middle of a plague? I just want to leave you all with this before this video ends. Just know that people are born black, but black is not born criminal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Chemistry Productions